Is, hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yeah, another character impression. This time we have our next grand character that was announced in GBFS. We have Uriel, the uh the kind of like the, the one that I kind of memed on because you know it's not like we really need the a, a Earth grand character right now. <laughs> but uh well I guess Earth finally got a new uh was that a <laughs> grand character, I guess, to <laughs> to make up for his uh the, the thing that it, it was missing for uh, last guild war because earth really needed something new for that last guild war and they didn't get anything <laughs> so okay so Uriel is the new uh, earth grand uh, character he has 1530 hp uh 10,000 attack so he's attack styled he's melee and yeah she's pri he's primal yeah sure yeah sure surely we can use this guy in the next upcoming life favorite guild war surely all right <laughs> so now we have tectonic slam wait wrong game wait what <laughs> Oh no! Wrong game, boys. Log out, man. We are not in PoE, boys. You're not. <laughs> Terra Blaze Tectonics, bro. <laughs> Massive earth damage to a foe. Boost to oil allies' earth attack. Urel gains three. 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 Uh, I'm gonna call that Oreos, alright. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm gonna call that as Oreos. All right, we have Oriel gains three Oreos. All right, two turn cut to Oriel's pal driver's cooldown. Cool. <laughs> um, upheaval two hit earth damage to a four amplified damage taken six hits. Six hits. Huh. Okay. Uh, earth crash tree. What? <laughs> three hit. Earth damage to all foes, 30% boost to Earth allies charge bar, Terra War effect, ends upon taking damage 3 times. Oh, so basically Michael, alright. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean all, all the Primarch seems to have this, right? I mean Gabriel had this as well too, so it's kind of to be given, I guess. <laughs> So you get the special uh, echo thingy and then cap water damage taken at 10k per hit. Attack and skill specs are boosted as well. Yeah, I feel like this skill is basically kind of like a, a Primark special, is it? Like every single Primark will have this no matter what, it seems. <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden, I guess like, hey, you know what? Here's a, here's a Raphael that doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> got him boys we got him <laughs> Uriel power driver 1200 percent earth damage to all foes uh remove three buffs triple dispel then right caster deals triple attack so guaranteed double uh, triple attacks and double strike effect for one turn i mean sounds okay so far i guess it's not not anything special or anything all right Okay, we have Oreos. When an Earth ally casts a damage skill, Oreo gains one Oreo. <laughs> Consume three Oreos to activate upheaval upon normal attacks. Oh. Gaia Arky. 20% <laughs> boost to the blah 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 summon thing. Yeah, okay. Alright, so Oreos basically makes you want to play Robin Hood. So instead of being a Kango enjoyer, we are now a Robin Hood enjoyer. Right? <laughs> this sounds about right. Time to be a... Uh, what's that? Uh, dude, what the fuck was that weapon? <laughs> Hercules! That's right, dude. What the fuck? I was like, dude, my brain all the sounds like, wait, what is that bow again? Oh, man. Time to be a Hercules enjoyer again. Log in, bro. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I hacking love pressing buttons, dude. Hell yeah, man! Can't say no to that. <laughs> I mean, you could, you, you, you could still play Kango anyway, cause he still gains three on Ogi, but shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you probably want to Ogi anyway because you want to reduce the the third skills cooldown or whatever. Because this is like the the the, the shit, right? <laughs> this seems like the shit. All right, uh, let me see the numbers real quick. So for Uriel is done, thankfully. Boost to all allies' Earth attack is twenty percent. So 20% earth attack and then with the da 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 okay sure and then the uh, first skill is 1,020,000 uh, base cap yeah so 2 hit is wow that, that is a lot of damage though for, for 2 hits 
1 million I just run it up to 1 million 1 million base cap ish and then the amplify is 30% yeah I was like what what the fuck is the number oh so amplify damage taken is 30% so up to 6 hits I mean it auto cast right so it's fine uh second skill the 3 hit is 510,000 per hit you get 30% meter and uh, terra ward 3 which is this thing okay and then the uh the thing is uh for this one you get uh, i think it should be the same right yeah 20% echo 30% attack up right 30% attack up which is probably the same mod as as theirs as well with michael and uh, gabriel that is and then we have um 40% skill damage and 20% skill damage cap and then you kept incoming damage for 10k per hit. All right. And then the third skill is uh, the nuke is 1.9 million damage base cap. And then you dispel three times. Guaranteed triple and double strike. I mean, he looks really good for like full auto stuff for upcoming guild war anyway. Which is probably going to take like the next six to a year. <laughs> six to 12 months. <laughs> right. The next earth favorite guild war is probably six to 12 months. Right, Chad? <laughs> yeah plenty of time to get this guy so no worries <laughs> no worries boys no worries so yeah the passive i guess is pretty straightforward right you consume the oreos to 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 auto activate his first at the first skill right and then this one is just 20 percent to all the like the, the the primal the magna yada 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 right so okay in other words you always need this guy if you want to make yourself stronger no matter what let me go towards the uh, weapon because this is the, where the real shit comes right <laughs> all right this is where the real shit is supposed to be right all right his weapon is oh look it's a pns what's new <laughs> wow what a surprise <laughs> of course it's gonna be a pns people were asking for this for so fucking long <laughs> God damn, dude! Look at the PNS, man. Also, the 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 thing is a fist, right? Dude, his weapon looks like a goddamn dildo, man. Hey, look, this is like the shaft, and this this is where all the testicles are. <laughs> so, for those who are not familiar with the PNS series, right? Which is uh, it all started from Leech's weapon. For those who are unfamiliar with it, it all started out from uh this one. So that's why. That's why we uh we just tend to call it like the PNS type of weapon, right? Because this basically started it all. It's the same. It's just, you know, they just change the element. <laughs> they change the element and the voltage changes changes based on what type of uh, weapon type is on the said weapon, right? So yeah. So since this is a fist, so now the voltage is a fist, right? Okay. So once again, a lot of times people always ask how many type, uh, how many like, PNS type of weapons you need to put in the uh, essential number is always two okay it's always two no matter what it's always two two is always like the uh, the best bang of the buck of your uh, for your for your grid always no matter what element it is you always want it to be two okay just uh, just to make it clear for everyone who do not are also somewhat not familiar with the uh the whole PNS thing, right? Okay, so you'll definitely want to, and also for another, uh, just to, uh, just to make it uh, a little bit more clear for, for the newer players as well. Even though, even though you do not have a lot of fist or melee type of weapons, it is okay, all right, because you do not need to make use of this. It is. 100% okay if you cannot fully utilize the fist thing in the the fisting the the voltage thing <laughs> yeah it, it is okay the most important thing about this weapon is nothing to do with the thing in the middle it has nothing to do with this the most important thing about this uh, weapon is the one on top and the one at the bottom this two is the most important one also, another thing I also need to point this out because a lot of people seems to not realize this as well is that you can, if you did get this weapon, you can use this weapon without barring it, okay? Or without uncapping it. You can use this as zero stars, okay? The only thing you're not going to get is most likely this, but you're still able to make use of this, which is already a lot. Even though it's only skill level 10, 
is still a lot, okay? So hopefully I'm clear enough on that one and uh, probably don't really repeat the question again. But uh, you guys are probably going to ask anyway. <laughs> next next thing you know, Mr. Streamer, how many Ure weapons do we need? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah, you don't really have to max it out. If you can max it out, it is better to max it out. Okay? Yeah. It is definitely better to max it out if you can because, you know, you can get extra cap and all that shit. It, it is very, very helpful, yeah? Because Earth, Earth currently is in the position, before this guy came out, Earth is in the, in the position, blah, 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 pff, pff, <laughs> is in a position where they are lacking a lot on the, uh, the over cap department. They, they have a real hard time over capping things. Earth actually has really good characters. Earth has actually a lot of like good setups as well, good weapons and all that shit too. But they can't overcap. They needed this for like the longest time now. <laughs> so I'm assuming right now with the help of this, Earth should be able to farm bars a lot easier now. Yeah, because with people were speculating for like the longest time. Because currently, like, before this, the grid, they kind of set it up to the point where you only needed, like, I don't know, four buttons to get that that one point. They, they were at, like, 1.3, 1.4 in Proto or something. Proto, I mean, like, Baha HL, okay? They were, like, around that much. And I'm pretty sure it's also because they did not have enough cap as well at that time. So with the help of this, most likely, you should be able to hit, like, I don't know, 1.8 or some shit very easily honestly because you get so much extra cap with the help of pns and shit which is not honestly that far off so it's definitely a lot more doable now and not to mention you can kind of use uriel himself as well to add more echo to if you so desire right because i mean he's kind of his uh uriel's echo is kind of like the, the the special one where because it allows you to stack with other normal uh echo buffs or whatnot because his 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 Echo is kind of like a special buff that includes with the the everything the cap at 10k or the other shit, right? So, it's uh it's pretty pretty nice. So yeah, that's the uh that's the Earth PNS weapon. So uh, hopefully you guys uh are a little bit more clear on that one. So yeah, once again, you'd only need two of these. There are some cases where there are three, but that is like if you really feel like throwing your money, like uh, if you have too much money to spare or some shit, right? You do not need three at all. <laughs> Two is already more than enough. Okay? And also, you do not need to use this, all right? I, I, I can't repeat myself enough. You do not need to care about this. If you can make use of this, that's great, okay? You do not need to make use of that, 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 that second skill at all, all right? Thank you. All right, moving forward. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I guess also I should probably mention that most of you guys are probably also using game setup, so you just stick with one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you could just use one, I suppose, but... I mean, Earth right now, if you're using game, it's like pretty... Sh it's pretty... Ugh, right? You, you, you definitely want to use the, the Galleon weapon grid these days, so... Yeah, there's that. Okay. Is Uriel good? Of course he is. <laughs> I, I don't think Primark weapons uh blah, blah, blah. I don't think Primark characters are ever going to be shit. No matter I feel like Primark characters are a must have. Why? It's because of this. <laughs> it's not because of how they work. It's just because of this. You have a free 20% modifier just by slotting the the, 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 the dude or dudette into the back line. The the way the character works is just a big plus, rather. You only want the character mostly because of this. So this this dude, if you're asking about the character itself, he's still 100% usable because of this as well. And if you want to use him normally like full auto or whatnot, he'll still work as well because you know he has insane amount of damage, crazy amount of uh, these spells. He has a lot of like attacks, you know, a lot of like normal attacks, nuking and all that shit. If you're going with uh, skill-based uh, Kango and whatnot, it will work relatively well anyway for this guy too. So it's like, it works all around. It's it's just really, really strong. But he's very focused if you're using him. It's either you use him for burst, which is for the, the, the echo thingy. Or you're going to use him in a very, very skill uh, nuked 
skill nuking oriented setup. Character is great. He is very, very self-sufficient. Well, definitely very self-sufficient, but uh, I would definitely suggest he's... Uh, to go so like to have someone to go along with him to make him a bit stronger, you know. Say, for example, like buffing up his uh, meter generation in some way, uh, allowing him to get even more skill damage in some way, or uh, having a lot of uh, what's that uh, extra uh, echo buffs or whatever to make your uh, set burst a lot stronger if you're planning to go to that set direction. But uh, other than that, he's actually a very, very straightforward character. You only use him for the sake of his passive or, you know, you just full auto hit with him. He gets, uh, gives you a, like a really strong buff and then he has all these kind of nukes, blah, 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 to do damage, all that bullshit. And at the same time, his weapon is fucking OP. So that's kind of like the, the, the way it is, right? So, uh, yeah. Or yeah, you can. It's, it's entirely the, the the cool thing about this guy is that is really based on uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, setup that you are actually planning to use him as. Anyway, you I mean you can actually just uh, you can just use like the Robin Hood thingy, or you just give a lot of meter to him so you can actually just gain the thing anyway. So it's just I mean it's entirely up to you, I guess. <laughs> it, it, it's it's really entirely up to you, honestly. I I, it can, I mean, we're not really talking about speed here, <laughs> but it's just more of like how like how well the the character functions in this day and age kind of thing, right? So yeah, there there's that. So um, really really strong kind of guy, but uh, he doesn't uh you know, it, it's not like you really need this kind of uh like the skill set outside of this that is you know. Maybe you can, but to me, it's like, yeah, he, I, 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 I'm kind of only seeing him from this and this. Other than that, I don't really care too much about him. Like, personally speaking, I don't really care too much about his other shit. Because, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, if you think about it, I guess he's also like a... a, 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 a what's that? Uh, you can kind of sub him with Galleon or some shit in some way, I suppose, if you want to. That's entirely up to you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess that's it. Thanks uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the, the Zodiac, the last one. Yep.